Welcome to the Total Theater Podcast, the podcast covering the art and the craft of theater. In this episode, we're going to be bringing the drafting out of Vectorworks into Photoshop to do a digital painter's elevation. So what we want to start off with is a drawing over in Vectorworks. And here I have is a drawing of a nice musical theatery kind of colonnade that I did for the center line, but I don't think I need it for my painter's elevation. And so what we're going to do is we need to export an image file of this, which is this, in Vectorworks, this is all, uh, you know, geometry-based defining of a line that ends here and it goes there. We want to do something that is based by pixels. So we were going to go to over to File, down to Import, I mean Export, Image File. Oh my goodness, it is that easy. Um, and what you need to be careful of is if you have something off, of the, off the side of the screen that you drew, like a little box that you forgot about, it's going to show up in the, um, in the rendered image unless you make sure it's not there. I've gotten rid of everything but just this, I've, uh, you know, no title block or anything else. And so what you do to define how the, to define the asset, the, so what you need to worry about next is the, the size of the image that you're going to export. By default, it usually sets this as 72 DPI or, or pixels per inch, which is a screen resolution you want a higher resolution to do your image editing in because it, it'll just have a cleaner, crisper look. So you define this as I did 300 and then it goes by pixel dimensions or print size. Then you want to def define it by how big you want your image to be. I'm going to have this be, if I have this, oops, be 17 inches. That's going to be about 10 inches. You can get an update of how big it thinks the file size is going to be and choose the what kind of, there is BMP, bitmap, JPEG, Photoshop, picked file, PNG, all the way down to things like a TIFF and stuff. I guess I'll just choose Photoshop. Um, okay. So here we are. We'll click, go down and click save and choose what is what we want to call it? I'll switch this to Garden Paint L. And then here we are. And you can choose whatever folder you want it to be in. Right now I have it going all the way into the folder for this podcast episode. But you would then send it to either you you know the file for your your production or if you wanted to create a separate file for renderings inside your production file, whatever you want to do. It's going to think and do its thing, and next we're going to switch on over to Photoshop. Okay, and here we are, through the magic of editing, um, in Photoshop. What you'll notice is that um, here is the file that I first exported paintl.psd um, and I and what happened was there was some variations in the line widths of the lines that were making up the drawing so I had to uh, re re redo that and export the drawing all over again which is what I have right here um, you'll see all the line widths are all even and and now we're ready to begin. So a nice, easy, and quick way to begin with doing a Photoshop is by creating, masking off the areas that you don't want to get painted. And the way I do that, uh, the quick and easy way, is going over to the Magic Wand tool. And with the Magic Wand tool, we can go ahead and start uh, clicking adding things. If you hold the shift key down, you'll notice there's a little plus sign that I'm adding that to the selection as well. And I'm going to go around 
adding all this, all these areas. And I'll just do this for right now. And with all these things, if you create a new layer, which is down, either putting this, let's just create a new layer. I have to move that up a little bit. I might not have been able to see that. Um, I'm going to delete that layer. Yes. Uh, I think that might have been out of sight. But again, going down to create new layer. And then this thing is add layer mask. It's like adding masking paper around the things that you don't want to paint on, like if you're airbrushing. And what it automatically does is creates what's called a layer mask of what's going to go in there, of what can be seen in that layer. And so if I click over to work on the layer, because now you see that these little bars are around the the actual in layer rather than the mask part of the layer, the, the ma layer mask thumbnail. If I just go and go to the paint bucket, you'll notice that it paints the entire layer, but the only part that we see is the stuff that we have in the layer mask. And so what I would need to do is add a selection that creates, that fills up everything and then you could also do selections that would just be particular parts um, and let me show you what I mean 